sleeping. <laughs> Come on, stop it. Oh my gosh. Too much poopsicles open. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, he's on day 26, by the way. Um... Like a fifty day or some up to a fifty day subathon. So he's like only like halfway through. That's insane. I cannot. I could not. Okay. What was this? Deposit. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, day zero. What is the season set to? Seven. And she has her things. Yes. Yes. That is in my way. And no lights because we don't have electricity in the town yet. So, good to go. Alright, so she does want to get engaged to Ryan. <clears throat> You're smelling grass. Okay. Um, she also wants to be friends with Norman, so we could do that too. Um, use this. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. What is that? What is that? What? Is that like a tree? Well, there's a tree on the other side of the road. Gotcha. That was really confusing me. Okay, so I think we're going to <clears throat> invite over Ryan. What the heck? Okay, let's go ahead and call Sim. Um, I need to fix that. That is not that's not right. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna fix that. There we go. Perfect. Where is Ryan? Here's Ryan. We're gonna invite him over. Because she wants to get engaged to him, so we're just gonna go right for it. They are engaged. Or no, they're boyfriend and girlfriend. Are they boyfriend and girlfriend? They are loves. So they're not officially in any kind of um, relationship. <laughs> Also, she wants to become friends with Norman, so we can do that. Oops. Great, mm. Ryan. She's like, what are you in her um, grass? Oh. oh my gosh! Leona! Shabate! Well, we didn't even have to ask him. He asked us. Alrighty then. That was interesting. Um, I was going to ask him, and then it just popped up that they were he was asking her. That was interesting. Alright, she wants to gain a skill point. Um so we could do that. She's gonna be the animal shelter. So, I don't really think she's going to need any particular skills. So, I guess, hmm. Yeah, I don't really know. These guys are going to be our first wedding. And so, to get married, they're going to have to pay to get, like, a marriage license. And since there is no church where they can go and get married, they're just going to have to do, like, a either in the backyard kind of ceremony or they could just do like a private ceremony between the two of them and that's about it. So, yeah, he does she does want to get married to him. Um I think I'm going to have her serve up some cereal though because um you know, she's getting a little hungry. It is a good memory for both of them that they are engaged now. 
So that's exciting. Hi, Fiance Girl. Welcome to the stream. Um, so yeah, I guess Ryan had the same thoughts as Candy, and he just jumped the gun. We didn't even get a chance to click to um, even in ask her to get engaged to us. He just went for it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let him also go ahead and grab a bowl, just in case, you know, maybe he's hungry. He is pretty homeless, so he's definitely um, in need probably of some food. He probably is very happy to be here because he doesn't even have a house, so he has no comfortable things to sit on in his house. So, yeah. But she does want to get married to him, so we can either choose to do just, like, a quick, like, Engagement between the two of them, or maybe do a backyard wedding. Just have a little bit of money that we could poss possibly do it. Um, we can invite over just like the founders. Um, that's about it. That's all we have. So we can invite over like Keelian and um, Kenzie and Maxwell and Winter and Jace. Those are the only people we would be able to invite, really. I guess and Neil. Neil would also be able to be invited, I guess. So, we could probably just do a wedding like that. Let me see how much she has to pay for a wedding, though. So, services for a marriage license um, is 500 simoleons for a marriage license. Um... If there was a church or a courthouse, those would be added fees, but there isn't. Um, and she doesn't know couples counseling, so she doesn't get a $250, like, deduction off of the top of that. So she'll have to pay two, 500 to get an, a license, and then that would be it, I guess. Because you have to have a license to get married. So we would have to send the 500 to our mayor have we picked who our mayor is gonna be by the way i can't even remember if we picked who it was gonna be um i can't even remember who is our mayor or do we not have one i really can't remember Hmm. I feel like it's a guy, but I don't know who it is. I feel like it's... It's somebody who lives over here. Is it... Daniel? Who's Daniel? Is it Maxwell? It is a guy. Is it Maxwell? I can't remember. <laughs> I should have wrote that down. You know, I could I could go out to, like, uh, Hoodview. I've been writing in their bios whom it is going to be, like, mayor and stuff. So, it would be it would be out there so I would know. I could figure it out real quick. Because so, we're going to have to send it over. So, let's go ahead and let's go out to Neighborhood View. Yes, we're going to save. Um, yeah, I wrote it on the house bio. Everybody's is written in the house bio so I can remember when I'm going in what we're working on because I don't want to forget. So this is going to be one of them that we're going to do. Um, I think it's Daniel. Yeah, Daniel is going to do it. So I think his name is Maxwell Daniel or something like that. So he is going to be our mayor. So we'll have to send him over the 500. I probably need to keep track like how do I keep track of what is the money for the funds of the town versus like the money of like his money do I have to keep track of it like how much I send or something I don't know um, so we are going to send 500 I can't remember how I was doing this. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to do this yet. I feel like there was something I had put in my buy or something. Like a check something or other. Wasn't there? 
Or was I actually doing it with this thingy? Maybe add a sheet on your spreadsheet to keep track of city funds. Yeah, I might have to do that. Oh, the wallet token controller. Yeah, that's what I want, I think. I think that's what I want. So let's send 500 to... Who are all these people? Oh my gosh, this is too much. What's his name? What's his first name? Maxwell... Oh, this is going to be so hard to find people when it's like so many extras in here. Who are all these people? Seriously. Oh my gosh. I can't even keep up. Daniel Maxwell. Uh, Dora Otamus. How is she in here? I am really confused. Um... Or Maxwell Daniel. Maybe sort by relationship. Maybe that'll be easier. Okay, here we go. Maxwell Daniel. Okay, so she just sent 500 over to him. And it did deduct the money from her because she had 1,600. So let me add a tab. And I'm going to call this Um, I'm going to rename this and I'm going to rename it as City Funds. Okay. And then I'm going to write, first column will be Service. So I know what the person was sending the money for. Um, and then the amount. Oh, and I guess I should even have like household who did it you know so we'll do the second one as household and then amount households okay so the service is a marriage license the household is Hartman and the amount is 500 simoleons that should be good and then I want all three of these to be like centered have max keep city funds in an account just for that okay and then we can run a sum function sum okay there we go wait is that right yeah all right perfect so now we have the 500 so it's separate from his funds what do you mean in an account what do you mean by that Wait, on this thingy? Oh. Philip and Maxwell. Oh, can we actually... Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we paid for the fi the 500 to get married. Um, so there's no, there's no church. And there is... You don't want to tax max on city funds. Right. Right. Um, so there is no church and there is no courthouse to get married at. So they have to have like a backyard wedding, I guess. 
so since it's just a backyard wedding, we're just going to invite people over um, for, like, a wedding party. Um, but I think if we actually throw a wedding party, it's going to cost us money. I think it costs, like, a thousand. And we only have 1,125. So, I'm not really sure what we should do here. Okay. And then we can... Like, that took, like, all the money. All of the money for that wedding arch. How insane. Can you get married at this? Oh my gosh. I can't believe it's 900 simoleons for a wedding arch. Oh my goodness. Alright, we'll do pink. This is why I say, like, we can't even afford to have people come over, really. Because we can't even afford... I don't even think we can afford the wedding now. But we'll try and throw a wedding party and see if we can. Okay, let's see. Let's invite Neil, I guess, and Maxwell, Winter, Kenzie, Jace, Kelian. I think those are all, all of our friends, so I'm just going to invite the friends and see if we can do this. Yeah, we don't have enough money to even host the party because it's a thousand simoleons. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to teleport them over, maybe. Um, and that'll be fine. So let's do Kelian. Um, let's summon. What's Kelian's last name? Miles, right? His last name Miles, yeah. Man, this is hard to just get someone over here for a wedding. Um, Miles, Miles, Killian, and then we'll invite over Kenzie Klein. So we need to find the Klein. Why is, like, all of these, like, sh cook and all of them in here? Like, why are they in here? They're not even placed in my world. Kenzie Klein. And then we can invite Maxwell Daniels. Summon. Because we got to have somebody here as a witness, you know? Can't just get married and say you got married. People aren't going to believe you. Not Davis. Working for Daniel. There we go. Maxwell. And then Jace. Is he our sim though? I don't know if he's our sim. I don't think Jace is our sim. Is he? Alright. Well, we'll invite over Jace. Just because we can. So we'll, Jace Makrovich is his last name. Summon... Makrovich. Let's see if we can find it real quick. If I can't find it, I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna have a heart attack about it. I'm just gonna move on. But if I find it, I find it. You know? Okay. I didn't see it. I did not see it. Okay. But we're just gonna go ahead and get ourselves married. So let's go ahead and have her. Let's change into our formal. I'm kind of curious what. Okay, I mean, it's not really wedding quality, but we don't have a clothing store in the sit in the town or the place, so I think it's okay for this wedding until we get like a wedding boutique 
we're just going to have to live with whatever they have on for their weddings. It's going to be interesting, but it's all good. We're going to go ahead and get married. And everyone should come on over, I think, and like celebrate the marriage. The joining of Candy Hartman and Ryan... What is his last name? Sharma. Ryan Sharma. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ryan! <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh, Ryan! <laughs> I can't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ryan's tired of living on the streets. <laughs> Said enough. Um, choose a last name for this couple. The sim and the icon is the last name. So he moved in with 2,207. So we are going to go ahead and mark that down because I think it's going to be important if they were ever to get a divorce, he would get the 2,207 ish in like sent with him. So I am going to mark that down on my spreadsheet as well because I think that's important to keep note of. So, let's see. Residence. Um, I mean, I guess I could have done expenses for her, but I don't know. Notes. Okay, so Ryan moved in with um, 2,207. So, I can just keep that, you know, in the back of my mind. All right, perfect. So that's our first wedding for our um, our fam our families. Two of our founders have found their way to love. Fantastic. Okay, we're not playing kicky bag. We literally, literally just got married. We're not gonna play kicky bag. Who are you? He's like showed up. I feel like he just like wants to be part of the wedding. She does want a baby, so I'm going to let them go ahead and try for baby because they just got married and I always think like after a marriage they can go ahead and try for baby once and then if it happens, it happens, you know? Um, all right, where is it? Let's see. Casual woohoo. Well, that's not even that's not even try for baby. Okay, hold on. Let's have them relax on the bed. You relax. And this man is probably so happy. Oh, he wants a baby too. Oh my God. Um, He's probably so happy that he doesn't have to live on the streets anymore. Because he's literally... He, he literally lived right there on, with nothing. So we can... We have an open founder corner. <laughs> I can buy a wedding cake now. Oh, right, right, right. Let's we'll do that. We'll definitely do that. Um, okay, so we're gonna have them try for baby because they both want one. Let me go ahead and get a wedding cake while they're celebrating. Uh okay, let's put that there. For right now, I'll allow buying wedding cakes from the inventory. Just because, like, how the heck else are they going to get one, you know? Let's get this one. Perfect. Holy moly. 400 simoleons for a wedding cake. That's expensive. Alrighty. Are they all... Okay. Oh my goodness! Come cut your cake. She also wants a kitten and to obtain a pet and to go on vacation. Okay, you guys are not important to me. Get out of here. Stop sleeping. You guys don't need to sleep. Get up. Got other bigger and better things to do. Oh, he doesn't want to see the death of Candy. That's really sweet. And he also doesn't want to get sick. 
let's not do that. She, she doesn't want to get caught cheating. And she doesn't want to see him die or a relative die. So that's really sweet. Sweet moment. Oh my gosh. Dude, we're cutting the cake. Come on. Ooh. Goodness. Oh my gosh, the mm. slice of cake is massive. Oh my gosh. Aw, she did it nicely. Like, she didn't do anything crazy. Cute. Very cute. All right. So our Sims have moved in together. Um, I am going to turn his aging off. Just because I don't want him to age up at 6 while he's here because we already played his days. Um, so I just want him to, you know, have the right age. I am going to let him go to the bathroom. And he can go ahead and take a bath as well. And then I am going to have her go ahead and clean up. And I guess we could throw this in her inventory for, like, their anniversary. So we'll do that. She's also nurturing. Oh, that's so sweet. Did you call me a weirdo? Oh. Clean that up. He's going to take himself a bath. He's a little bit hungry, so maybe he could make himself like a sub or something. A sub would be okay, I think. She doesn't seem too hungry. She seems pretty good. Alright, and she, like I said, is our animal shelter sim. Why don't you go use the bathroom and clean it? So, she's probably going to get a kitten and, like, obtaining a pet is probably, like, in her near future. But, at the moment, <clears throat> how am I even going to get an animal? Am I just going to have to, like, make it instead of a person? Like, when I get my first, um, like, you can make a new person, am I going to have to make a cat or, like, a dog? And then add it to the family. Is that what I should do? I feel like that's what I should do. Oh, she can also get a stray, right? So we can, like, look for strays on the street and then take them in. So maybe we'll we'll keep an eye out for that. Because that would be pretty cool. If a stray walked by, we could try and take it in. You adopted strays? Yeah. I always forget that there's strays in this game. I don't know why. But I do. Alright, take a bath. What? I know, but I mean, there's strays in all the games. Just try to keep an eye out for like any animals. He does want to gain a cooking skill, so this is good because it's working on that as well, which is fantastic. Also, there is some books here, so we could have him like read if he wants. Since he wants to get like a cooking skill, we could have him read. He also wants to get a kitty. How cute! You know what I thought about? I should have not put the um, little hydrants in until the um, until the car place was established. Because technically there shouldn't be any cars driving, you know what I mean? So I might go through and delete all the hydrants to get rid of the cars. Because I feel like it'll be a little bit more realistic. Alright, we can greet Maxwell. Since he's just chilling outside. And he is our mayor, so... Do I remember what Ryan's was going to be? Um, Ryan was going to do... Let's see. His last name is what? What's Ra what, um, Sharma? He doesn't have anything on here. He doesn't. We only have a Reed, Kennedy, Klein, Mueller, Daniel, Ellis, Pearson, Wagner, Miles, and Muniz. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 oh, I wanted to meet her. Alright, why don't you clean this up? And then I am going to have you be nice. And since you want to get this, why don't you make your now wife a, um, thing. I don't think we had anything for him yet. Yeah, I don't think so. 
I also haven't written down that Maxwell Daniel is the uh, mayor, so I should definitely oh. write that down. That should have been a thing that was written down, but it wasn't. Oh, she's going to admire him. That's nice. That was nice of you. Candy, it looks like you're gaining some fame now. More and more people are starting to see that you're a good sim. Some good things may be coming your way soon. Nice. Okay, so she just aged up. So she's at 41 days. But he is still at 40. So that's perfect. Because he should be at 40. Okay, perfect. He just made her a sub. Come and eat. No, don't eat your wife's sub. That's so rude. And you can study cooking. Waylon Menon is walking by. Yeah, so we never decided on him what he was going to do. Um, oh, there we go. He got his cooking skill. He wants to serve food and he wants to get to level two of cooking. So he's clumsy, rebellious, eccentric, ambitious, and a loner. And his things, his aspirations are knowledge. And that's it. We don't have secondaries yet for them. So that's good. Yeah, he could help her with the pets for sure. Okay. So he wants to serve food. And he wants to get to level 2 of cooking. The way he's going with wanting to serve food, it looks like he's going to want to do like some kind of food. Something with food. But he could definitely help oh, with the... Um, thing. Oh my gosh, you're talking ah, about babies. <laughs> She's eating. Um... He's definitely different looking. That's for sure. I can't remember what everyone's on. Okay, just day two. Okay, so we only have one more day with them. We have a couple of people still not... Um, what the heck? Did someone just disappear? We have a couple of people not just, like, not played yet. So those are our, like, next sims that we'll be doing. All right, you can go ahead and clean that up. Play rock, paper, scissors. Alright, well since you want to serve food and you and your wife are a little bit hungry, why don't you serve up some sub sandwiches again and we can maybe call Maxwell to dinner. We only have two chairs, so it's kind of like someone's going to have to sit on the couch by themselves. But, <laughs> at least we have something. I don't want to buy like too much for their furnishings because I do want to do a lot of that through the um, the stores. So I want to wait until like the furniture stores open up and things because I don't want to take away from people being able to purchase items through the stores. So I'm trying not to buy anything unless I absolutely need to. Like I had to buy the arch so they can get married. And the wedding cake is like a sentimental thing. So I'll definitely obviously buy that. But I really don't want to try and limit how much I purchase from the builds buy catalog because I want to try and just purchase through like the um I just want to try and purchase as much through the stores as we can. <clears throat> okay, so the boys are gonna sit on the couch and make Candy actually sit at the table by herself. So that's fantastic. I think she might be expecting, honestly, because her hunger went down really quick and her bladders went down really quick and her energy is tanking. So, that's something. Yo, he wants to dance with her. That's so sweet. So cute. Let's see if we can have them dance. We could do a classic dance, so we'll do that when they're done eating. Daniel's like getting so much out of today he got money for starting off the funds for the city and uh, now yeah. he got to go to the first wedding of the city and he also has gotten a free meal on top of everything else a free meal all right so let's have them dance classic 
Candy, you could put the dish down for just a second. That'd be great. Leave it up. Leave it up. Leave it up. Okay. Maxwell's like, what is going on? He loving it. Oh my goodness, Maxwell must be hungry. And I really think Ryan must be so happy here. Like her house is so, is very like big compared to what he had on the streets. So yeah, it's very cute. Talk, talk about hobby and cuisine and see what happens there. I mean, we can't put away the leftovers, so it's best he just Ooh, takes care of the leftovers. <laughs> That's fine, too. Alright, we're gonna be gonna oh. stop. Oh. 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 Yeah, these two are literally our first marriage, so that's really exciting. The Sharma household is the beginning of it all. Alright, he wants to tell her an inside joke. Aww, now he wants to give her a back rub. Is she three bolts for him? Yeah. She's three bolts for him, but he's only two for her. And he wants to flirt with her. So, goose her. Oh my gosh. Now he wants to make out with her. I meant to click make out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then I think after that We're gonna go ahead and head to bed So I will have him go ahead and say goodbye to him And They will both go to bed She needs to go potty first And then head to bed Oh, and you know what? He could also clean up nicely for us Oh, now he wants to woohoo with her. Aha! <laughs> it's so silly, they have to throw their dishes out. Oh my goodness, someone caught some bugs and didn't release them and they're gonna die in that. That's horrible. Uh-oh. Totally called that. Alright, Ryan, let's have you clean this up, buddy. And he wants to learn how to make cereal, so we'll have him serve up some breakfast. Clean that up, and then you can serve up some cereal. Bowl. 
All right, go ahead and use, clean, and take a bath. Oh no. Go ahead and eat. And then grab another bowl, because you're still hungry. Let's have you clean this. And then use it. And then you can clean this up. Alright. Are you really going to clean up the dishes? Okay. Mail's here. Mail's here. Alright, let's get the mail. and pay the bills. Recycle. Have you used? I don't remember what time they got married or like what time they woohooed, but she should be getting her baby bump today. Alright, go ahead and clean this up. Poor girl. <laughs> Anti sleepy, thank you so much for following. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Wait, clean these up. I'm just like waiting for the baby bump to pop. It's gonna take a little bit, but I, I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> I just want to see the baby. Also, can we clean this? Because it's just sitting on our front lawn and it looks really bad. Oh, wow. He wants to buy a bookshelf costing at least 650 That's not happening because we don't have a store to go buy a bookshelf at, unfortunately. All right, why don't you come in here and do your crossword? Oh, no, 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 no. Extinguish. Uh-oh. Can she extinguish herself? Um. Oh. I almost had a minor heart attack. I thought my first sim was about to die. All right, he wants to make lunch meat sandwiches. Does he want to serve them or can he just have them? Let's eat them. Make a single plate of lunch meat sandwich. Go ahead and do that. Yeah. Hi, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I was really scared for her. She was like leaning down, snipping the um snipping the flow the the grass or the flowers or whatever and the tree caught like got struck by lightning and caught on fire and it caught her on fire 
Ooh, that was close. That was really close. Alright, Ryan, go ahead and eat that, buddy. You're hungry. You're a hungry boy. Okay. Now he wants to go on vacation. We can't do that, dude. We don't have a vacation destination. It's not even a thing in this day and age. Alright, go ahead and sleep. <laughs> she just like can't handle it. Yeah, you've been following me for a long time, yeah. Well, I didn't stream there for a few years. I've only been back for like a year and a half ish, I would say. Um, okay. Have a baby. Still wants to get to level four in the cooking skill, so that's good. Alright, go ahead and clean that up. And why don't you like clean up the house like a little bit? Since she is pregnant, it would be nice. For him to try and keep the house kind of tidy if he can. Obviously the bills and stuff are paid. And the bed is made. She's sleeping so. Um, yeah we'll just have him clean up a little bit for a little bit. Okay. You've forgotten how long it's been. <laughs> a lot's changed. Pepper. There's a dog outside. <gasps> Get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. No, 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 no. Come out here and greet Pepper. Come on. Pepper is a stray, I do believe, and because we don't have any Sims. Mama. Baby bump time. Yes. It's our first baby bump. I want to get a photo of this. I should have gotten a photo of um, the wedding, but I completely blanked. I was too into the wedding. <laughs> Couldn't help it. But we can get a photo of this. Yes, perfect. Okay, where's Pepper? Because I really want her to uh, greet Pepper. Maybe not in your underwear, though. <laughs> or in your underwear. That's fine, too. The Sims have no shame in their game. Oh my goodness, girl. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> Aww, Pepper. Cute doggy. Since she's going to be our animal shelter sim, we have to kind of try and make friends with some of these strays to bring them in. So, let's go ahead and stroke the dog and we'll feed it a treat we can play some razzle and that should be good come on that's all right um okay we should call we should call up Kenzie. We should do that. Um, praise for... No, you should scold it for hostility towards others. And then pet the dog. You've been playing Sims 4. And I have my sim I started out with die by a meteorite. And then his second to oldest daughter started a fire from cooking for the first time and died. Wow. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of disaster. Man, he is so happy to be here. Couldn't, couldn't keep himself away from his diary. He had to write all about it in his journals. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's enough. That's enough razzle. That's enough razzle. Come on. Goodness. Your game is cursed with drama. Oh no. 
Okay, come on, stroke him. Make him feel better about it. Rub his belly. And feed him a treat. Stroke. Sai sai. Rub belly. I mean, I just have mods that make drama, so that's the best part. I don't have to do it myself. Feed tree. <laughs> or like wait for the game to do it. No, the mods just do it for me. Um, stroke. How bad are you? Okay. Alright, we might have to um, give up on Pepper for the moment. Let's go ahead and have you sleep in your underwear real quick. And Ryan, I'm going to have you stop. I would like you to please go ahead and serve up some, some sandwiches. He should still be at 40. Yes. All right. Now we can turn his aging back on since they both aged up for the two days because this is the last day I'll be playing her anyways. That way he didn't age two days ahead. I have mods as well that cause drama, but also my game just causes it. Well, you must have one of those blessed games then. All right, what are his traits? So he's clumsy, rebellious, eccentric, ambitious, and a loner. That's right. He is eccentric, so maybe we could do something with that. Like maybe he's the electrician or something. Who knows? All right, I'm going to let her sleep for a little bit, and then I'm going to get her up to eat because we don't need her to miscarry the baby. So let's just let him eat. When he's done eating, we'll have her come grab some dinner. That way she'll have gotten a little bit of sleep in. All right, perfect. Go ahead and use. Let's have you get up and come grab a plate. Can you answer the phone? And then clean up. Hey Ryan, is Candy available to talk? Yeah, she's available, but I don't know if she's gonna want to. She's pretty tired today. And hungry. Okay, he's cleaning that up, and then we're having to take a bath. Candy is just still scarfing down her sub. All right, go ahead and answer. Agree, Mashnu. What's that? Blagine. All right, we're gonna let her use and grab a plate, and then head to bed. And we'll have him clean up. Put the book away. And he should just put away all the books. And then he can go to bed. There we go. Nice. Now she's off to bed. She's our first pregnancy, our first marriage. She's holding a lot of firsts here. Don't let us down, Candy. Don't let us down. This poor guy, he's living in a pink haven. He literally moved in and her house is just exploding in pink. I'm sure he appreciates. <laughs> I think his color was red, honestly. So not too far off, I guess. But, still. Oh, her pregnancy is just fine. Leave me be. Alright, so we did get through that. Let's go ahead and save. She is very tired, so she's going to be sleeping for a very long time. <laughs> 
Um, but we're going to be moving on to the next households. Um, but at first, I need to just add all the information into my spreadsheet real quick. So these guys have 1,995 simoleons to their name, which is fantastic. Um, Hartman, so 1,195 simoleons. She doesn't have any expenses because we didn't really go out. I could have put the 500 there for like the marriage thing, but I just did that automatically so that I made sure that I got taken care of. Um, and then she didn't receive any money like back from the city or whatever. And I do have that he moved in with that. Then for services, her building, she's going to run the animal shelter for us to have um, a place to adopt animals, of course. And just write that Shh, it's her household that's doing it. Since his household is no longer, um, I'll take him off of the list as well. And then, so I can write in what the city or the building does later on. So now we're on to the household Campbell, the Campbell household. They're our next household in line. And we'll go ahead and jump on over there. Welcome back. All right, so these guys are all good in the hood. We will go back to the neighborhood real quick. Okay, so now we're on the Campbell household, which is here. She's actually going to be the one to run our salon. So that's interesting. So I will just write that down, that she is going to do our salon while we load in. And this is the Campbell households. Okay. Now, she doesn't owe anything or anything because she's not been robbed or anything like that. So, we're good there. Um, so, this is her household. This is her house. It's not great, to be honest. It just looks like this. <laughs> um. Okay. I guess. Interesting. That's all I can say. Uh, she likes pink as well probably why it looks like it does and this is the inside there's not much to it because they are all very broke so fantastic alrighty what is the first thing we need to do she needs to go to the bathroom and we're probably going to head down to a lot because she does want to woohoo and that means we need to actually find someone to woohoo with so we will have to do that of course and her traits are rebellious, insane, proper, charismatic, and no sense of humor. She's a romance sim, and she wants to perform 200 paid salon makeovers. So she is going to be definitely utilizing um, the makeover station. All right, let's go ahead and have her walk to a lot. A community lot will be just fine. We'll go to Central Park. Yeah, we can't woohoo here, right? Who does she even have bolts with? Um, Norman. She has no bolts with Norman Wagner. Three bolts, that is. And they have a crush. So that's totally how we're, who we're going for. Oh, but you know what? We didn't invite anyone. Man, I forget that I have to actually invite them. I can't invite them on the lot because there is like no way to do that in The Sims 3 or The Sims 2 without a cell phone, and we don't have cell phones yet. We're not that luxurious. <laughs> so hopefully he shows up. If he doesn't, we'll head home and call him in like a couple hours. But let's just give it a chance to see if it spawns him in first before I like jump out to go. Um, to go out and like grab him 
Because she also wants to become best friends with him. And we can definitely woohoo on this lot. So we'll just keep our eyes peeled. For the good stuff. No, I'm just kidding. She could also probably, like, meet some people. That would be good, too. So, I don't know. Do you know Harper? Do you know Harper? Harper. She also has two bolts of Mallory. So, that's interesting. And her friends. And she has two bolts of Matthew Smith. He's an NPC. Two bolts of Tiffany Zaryubin. And she's also an, N an NPC. And then she's got, like, a bunch of no bolters. Absolutely none. X's, for that matter. So, definitely not going for them. <laughs> definitely not. Okay, we also wanted to greet oh, Armando Cox. Oh, that was a sweet little, like, um, introduction. Oh, there's another one of our, our Sims, Ashanti, Cordova. Oh, Crane. Did Armando just like make growling sounds at um Harper? It's interesting. Ooh, she's got two bolts with Harper as well. But she says three with Norman, and they're already got a crush, so I really think we should probably go for that one first. Though he didn't show up on the lot, so that's unfortunate. Lurt suggestively. Look at her go. He was like, no. Please don't ever do that to me again. Whoops. Alright, let's go home. Oh. They're gonna argue? Wow. What is going on? I hear somebody. I was wondering if somebody new showed up, but it doesn't look like it. Alright, I think we're gonna have to, like, go home and invite him out. Is there a witch showing up? That's what it seems like. What are these two on about? Listen to Joe. Okay, these two already don't get along. Alright, let's go home. Oh my goodness, what's up with her eyes? That was terrifying. Okay, so it's the good witch. All right, let's have her get here, and we can invite him out. She does want to ask out on a date. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have cockroaches. Pick up the can and clean this up. Please don't get cockroaches. Lassie. <laughs> I love how you wave, you waved your arms at me, but then you picked it up anyways. That made no sense. Um, ask out on date. Oh wait, some people have showed up. Hold on. Greet everyone. Okay, I said greet everyone first. 
So it's Teresa Decker, uh, Bradley Reed, and Ryan Sharma's here. He had tried to admire her. Oh, and ask out on dates. They can stay here. Okay, let's go out with Norman. Community lot. <laughs> I wish we could just walk. Well, Central Park is the only place we can go. We'll just pretend she's walking. Okay, here we go. She wants to talk to him. Maybe smooth talk? She also wants to tickle him. He's a fortune sim. She wants to have a pool fight and dance with her and slow dance with her. So maybe we can have them slow dance. Also wants to kiss now and flirt with him. So maybe if we have them smooch. <laughs> um, she just got a wish to ask him home. That's something. She wants to get more private with this. Oh my goodness. She looks huge. Okay, let's have you flirt with him. Uh, you can sweet talk. <laughs> she now wants to make out with him. So kiss, make out. He wants to make money and pillow fight with her and talk, tell a joke to her. And I guess we're gonna woo here. <laughs> that was her first baby bump too maybe twins yeah uh yeah scary alright she wants to kiss him again view many so weird where are we kiss oh my gosh Kiss. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Maybe do a romantic kiss. And then give him a back rub. Hug him. You can leap into his arms. Okay. All right, so now she wants to have her very first woo with him, so we are going to go ahead and do that. Mm. 
Casual woohoo on the sofa. And here it goes. Right next to the playground. Interesting. Oh, this is Oh, this is I didn't think she looked that big though when we were at the house with her, so I don't know. Maybe it was just the lighting, who knows. But she looked here huge here. The playground is x weighted oh, sorry. Kissing romantically. Just the woohoo. <laughs> These sounds are too much. Nobody over there seems to even notice, though, so it's all good. Everyone's oblivious. <laughs> there we go. She had her very first woohoo. Now she wants to kiss him. Can do kiss and we can do kiss and make out and then we can end the date there. She does not want to get married to him. Oh, she just got rid of that. Okay, she wanted to have a dream date and now it's gone. Goose him. Dream date. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Hoping that we're gonna magical. get back there. <laughs> Can you imagine if this results in a baby? Oh my goodness, now she wants to woohoo with him again. Casual woohoo on the sofa. <laughs> Dream date went away, so I'm trying to get it to come back. I heard someone walking. Who was that? I don't have a clue. This is one of our Sims, Shane Mueller. He's got quite the schnoz. Hmm. I feel like everyone left. Oh, not Teresa. She's just on the other side of the playground. Getting a full fledged front view. <laughs> and it's nighttime. That's like Toby or something like that, I think. I don't know why I feel like it's a Toby. Because it totally is. And there's that Tiffany lady. We actually have two bolts with her. Interesting. I'm going to try and keep my sims... Oh, my goodness. I'm going to try and keep my sims, like, marrying my own sims as much as I can. And then if I obviously can't find someone for my sim to marry, then I will obviously pull a NPC if I have to. But I would like my sims to hopefully be able to um, stay within my own sims if I can. Okay, she wants to give him a back rub. Whoops. It's under appreciate and then do back rub. Also. Oh, he just did that one. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, she just got a wish to get engaged him, but she also has one of a fear, so... I don't know. I don't think she's thinking straight. I don't think she's thinking straight. Okay, dream date just came up. She literally doesn't want to get rejected, and she also doesn't want to get engaged, so I'm not doing that. If she got rid of this, I would have done it, but I'm not doing it. All right, we're going to go ahead and end the date. We'll see if she ever, you know, pulls it again. End the date. I'm doing the opposite. I'm having them marry NPC or townies that I started with less sims than you. Gotcha. Yeah, I think it's a little bit easier if I have my sims marry into my sims. Because um, then I feel like I'm not going to be pulling from all of the townies. And I did make them all with the pooklet method. So they all are very unique. And I think it's just going to add like to the story. So I'm going to try and stay within. Now if it's somebody like her who's a romance sim. And she has two bolts with say this old lady. Then you know go for it girl because who am I to say no but at the same time like I don't want her to I don't want to marry all of the NPCs if I don't have to just because that way I can like keep it keep it with my pooklet sims and then obviously we could always make townies and stuff that our sims could marry eventually that we could like um create ourselves with the pooklet method that would be kind of fun to do on stream maybe and then we'll have like all unique sims eventually hopefully so like all of these npcs probably won't be our npcs eventually we probably won't um marry many of them if any all right go here i really wish we could just walk home is there a reason you're having them marry the npcs is it just because you don't have as many sims or is it because like you've never played with the npcs so you kind of want to like bring them in how many sims did you start with? Yeah, I have 20 to start. So I like have a bunch. It would be hard to start with like say four. Because some of them might end up being gay or bi. And then you don't have a person for it. And that's also a thing. Like if my sims end up being gay or bi. And I don't have someone for them. Then the first person that we actually end up having like an attraction to. Would obviously probably be the person that we would go for. As long as our sims wanted to do so. Obviously not really going to force my sims into anything. Because if my sims don't want to get married, then that's fine. They don't have to. Like, you, there's other means to having children without being married. Of course. Yeah, there's a reason. Because I'm basing my Build-A-City challenge on the families and all my children. So I want those family names to carry on. I started with six sims, but I'm ready to add a new family. Nice. See, that's that's that makes sense why you would want to just have the NPCs then. So that way you can keep all of the last names as is. Where I don't really care about the last names, honestly. It doesn't really bother me. Get yeah. oh, cat dog. So yeah, the the Last names don't bother me in the slightest to get rid of them. Alright, we're just going to have um, some dinner. We're going to have a sub sandwich. And then we're going to go to bed. Why did I build her such a big home if she didn't have enough money for it? Yeah, I haven't played mine in a couple of months, so I wanted to do it. You watched that show for over 30 years and you still miss it. Aw. Can understand that. Can definitely understand that. Who is this? Bruce. Alright, we can answer the phone as well. And then we can use the bathroom. Okay. Come on, girl. Uh huh. Um, it's Maxwell calling. 
<laughs> speed up while she's on the phone. Oh man, she's still really hungry. Um, make a single plate of lunch meat sandwich. I know, she has so much room. I don't know why I made it so big. Knowing that she was so low, like, money-wise. I'm silly. But it's alright, we'll, we'll furnish it eventually. Alright, let's get you to bed. She still has the fear of getting engaged to Norman, so we're definitely not doing that. <laughs> we're definitely not doing that. Now, if she had rolled to get engaged and she didn't have the fear of getting engaged to him, if she even had the fear of getting married, I still would have done it. But I can't do it when they have the fear. I just feel like that's like they're conflicted. They don't really know what they want. So I don't really want to do something they don't really want. All right, let's get her to use this. She doesn't even have a shower. Are they supposed to have a shower? Buy a shower or bathtub. Why don't you make a single plate of cereal? That's a bowl though. Were we not supposed to have a bath in the last house? Did she just get sick? Did she just get sick and I was fast forwarding and I didn't recognize? <gasps> is baby number two already on the way? Oh no. I'm going to be watching her way caref more carefully now. Uh, make another plate and another bowl of cereal. Oh no. Oh no! Oh right, she can't have a shower, but she can have a bathtub. Makes sense. I have a I I found a mod where we can fetch water. That would be kind of cool for this at the beginning, but I don't know. I'm just gonna pr pretend like they go and get water somewhere. Who knows? Yeah, she's definitely expecting, that's for sure. Oh, man. Alright, we're going to wash our hands with you. Clean that. Clean that. Oh, my goodness. So what do we do if I roll and she doesn't want to keep the baby? Obviously, like, we need an orphanage at the point. But what if we don't have one? Can we not do that? Do we have to just keep it even if she doesn't want it? Yeah, I, I would like to. But is that unrealistic for the fact that there is no orphanage? Like, is that something we shouldn't be able to do until the orphanage is, is, is like, established? Like, what do we do? Unless the father wants the baby. Right. Norman might, might want the baby. He is... What did I say? He was a fortune sim? Yeah, Norman is one of my sims. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, man. She now wants to be friends with Ryan. Interesting. He is married. Okay, we need to pay our bills as well. And use this. Clean this and let's wash our hands a few times. So we don't have a shower at the moment and we really can't afford one. We'll get the mail. We'll recycle this. We did get our flowers. Um, we could maybe sell them. Until there's an orphanage, one of them will have to take the baby. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Hmm. Oh, 
here's another one of my sims. Philip is another one of our sims. Let's go greet Philip. And then you can recycle this. Hi, Philip. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, they have a two. They have two bolts. Get the mail. Maybe what we could do is until um. Until we get an orphanage, we could roll a number for each parent, and that would be whoever takes it, unless, like, obviously the one, like, if one is a romance sim, I mean, if the, if the girl is a romance sim, maybe we would have the girl and the guy both roll, and whoever gets, like, the higher number takes the baby kind of thing. Could be interesting. Alright, let's also pay our bills. Well, get out of my face. Trying to do something. Alright, I think we should have her go relax because her comfort is really bad. Yeah, so maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll just roll since mom is a romance sim. We'll just roll and whoever gets the higher number is going to be the one who take to take the baby. Um, is Philip the one that steals from everyone? Oh! <gasps> He's Wait. stealing from her. Uh, Philip. She's got a baby uh, on the way. You're going to steal all her monies. You're a horrible, horrible person. But our money didn't go down. So it's like it didn't it didn't work. It's like he didn't actually get to steal her money. I was just going to have her daydream on the bed for a little bit. Daydream. Or read. That works too. That way she gets her comfort up. She gets her fun up. She doesn't have a couch to sit on, so we have to do something. Stinky Philip. I forgot that Philip is the is the one that's always stealing from everyone all the time. She does have two bolts of him, but they have a negative two relationship. Well, I don't think that he was successful because the money didn't come out. Like, nothing came out. So, I guess because she doesn't have enough money to steal, he wasn't successful in it. So, I'm just going to say that he didn't steal it. Unless she comes up with, like, where's my wallet. But I don't think so because no money came out of her bank. So, I don't think that'll even happen. But look at him. He is so tempted. He's like, I didn't, I didn't get it the first time. Let me try again. <laughs> He's horrible. She's friends with Mallory. That's really cute. That's really cool. So she has like a friend and um, someone that she's like crushing in, in love with. But the thing is, is she still doesn't want to get married to him. Oh, she is getting it. Where is my wallet? But no money came out. Holy moly. Okay, we're going to have to send him 150 then. And the thing is, we don't even have 150 to send. I mean, I probably could just do 15 or something. Does she have the the wallet controller? I don't think she does. It, can we afford it? Can we afford the wallet controller? Where is it? Um, I gotta find it. Mm. I forget what it's even under. Is this it? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's see. Counterfeit. Um, yeah, so she wouldn't even be able to send 15. Oh, no. Stop it. Okay, ask him to leave. Oh! <gasps> What? What was that? <laughs> oh my gosh. I physically can't. I can't with this game sometimes. Hi, Kenzie. Do you want to be my friend? <laughs> 
Pinocchio steals her wallet. <laughs> and she kisses him. <laughs> I know. Alright, go eat your sandwich. What the heck was that? Why did she kiss him? Oh my goodness. Um, did Kenzie just think about being pregnant? Hold up. I swear to goodness. Shoe oh boy. What? <laughs> okay, well, now it's official. So I guess we can just roll and see who gets the baby eventually. I mean, or we can leave the suspense until the baby's born. <sighs> These sims have lost their minds. They're like, we're founders. We gotta really get the babies flowing and the kisses being made between people that don't even like each other. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe she did that. I really can't. I'm like, oh, what is going on at this rate? Who they just kisses someone they have a negative relationship with? They literally have negative bolts. Like, negative chemistry thing. Um, like, their relationship was like negative two or something. Alright, why don't you wash your hands for a second? Negative two, and she kissed him. I don't get it. Absolutely dumbfounded. Be nagged. Are you joking? What is up with these horrible, horrible people? Why is everyone being so downright mean? Alright, let's go ahead and have... Let's have a lunch meat sandwich. Are you joking? Okay, let's just ask her to leave. How about that? Ask her to leave. Oh my goodness. Goodbye. Don't come back. Have a lunch meat sandwich. Jace, don't steal my paper. I might need that one day. Goodness. Oh, she got a cooking skill. Nice. Alright, after she's done eating that, I am going to have her go sleep for a little while. She is exhausted. Poor, poor girl. And her comfort is so bad because she can't even sit while she's eating. She literally has to stand and eat every meal that she makes. This baby is coming into a really rough time if it lives here, let's be honest. I will feel absolutely horrible having a baby be here. Because, like, seriously, what? where is the baby going to sleep? On the ground? We have literally 14 simoleons to her name and we have no way of making any money right now. Because she needs to have a salon. Like, oh my goodness. How am I supposed to even make money with these people? I feel like no one is going to be able to afford anything for a very long time. Oh, no. The comfort is really not going up. This bed must be really bad. The comfort must be like a negative one at this rate. Or a 0 0.25. Alright. Well, her time is up. So, we can put down that she has 14 simoleons to her name. So, not much. That's that's for sure. She owes... A, she owes... I mean, for a steel interaction, they get 150. So I guess she owes 150, even though she didn't have it. So. Let's see. Campbell. Why is it tallying that she 
expenses should be a negative. They should be negative 150. Is that working right? I don't know if this is working right or not. Who are we playing? Decker, right? Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, I don't know. It's like tallying that it's like a positive. You have them working on their businesses right away. If they have nothing for to sell... Uh, they did dig up inventory from their yards. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to do something because these people literally have nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. And that's not even right. That's not even right. All right. Well, she's our salon, and I've already got that written down. So we can go ahead and save her turn. I might have to have them, yeah, I might have to allow them to dig up some stuff to make some money. Like, she's supposed to be a salon, but, like, how is she going to be a salon when she doesn't even have the thing to, like, give a makeover, you know? Um, and I don't even know how much that thing costs, but I'm sure it's not cheap. That's for sure. I'm sure it's not cheap. And she's going to have to pay for having the baby. Um... Even if she doesn't end up keeping the baby, she's still going to have to pay for it to be born. I do work on the wants, but sometimes you have to work to pay the bills, even if they don't want to. Right. I know that. Like, I'm just saying because she can't afford the, uh, the makeover thingy. You know? How much even is the makeover thingy? Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. <laughs> Where is the makeover thingy? I know it's in here somewhere. Mm, what is it under? Or is it under like... The points thing? Is that where it is? That's like sewing and stuff. Do, do. You're not sure? Okay. Maybe it's under entertainment miscellaneous. What the heck is this? Oh, right, 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 right. Um. Is it under skill items? Well, that's what I thought. I thought it was going to be here. But I don't see it here. Unless I'm, like, completely blind. Which is possible. I would have thought like recreation, you know? Because I just want to know how much it was, but if I can't find it, that's fine. No big deal. Miscellaneous? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. 
Maybe appliances? Nope. I have no idea. Is it in like the uh, career reward rewards or like the aspiration rewards? Is it under one of these? What's this? Um, the toy making bench and stuff is here. It's here. So there's the car. I have like a woodworking bench and then the pottery. And then this is the, um, the flower place and the sewing kit and the toys. This is the train set and then this is the robot crafting station. Should it be here? I thought maybe it was in here? I don't know. Nope. Hmm. Maybe it's in here under miscellaneous. Here it is. It's under tears, I guess. Um, so it's 1,200 simoleons to get one of these. Which we could use to give people makeovers, which would be fine. Um, and we could do it from home, I do believe. But, yeah. So pretty much any time anyone ages up, I would assume she would be able to give them a makeover. So, like, anyone ages up and needs, like, a new hairstyle or a child ages up and needs a thing, whatever found in comfort miscellaneous section of buy mode though it cannot be used as a chair if placed on an unowned community lot it will spawn an npc stylus and the player will be able to either have the selected sim get a makeover or direct that sim to give a makeover on a lot on the lot a free makeover or direct that sim to give a sim on the lot a free makeover okay yeah, so she's going to be paid for doing, um, she needs to do 200 for her thing. So you need to do, perform 200 paid salon makeovers. Um, open a business or get a job in someone else's and start waving those scissors and brushes. When you give this many makeovers to paying customers and get a gold badge in cosmetology, you'll know you've been, become a pro. Free makeovers do not count towards the goal, but may give you experience to do your job better. Yeah, she has to make 1200 to get one, and she has 14 simoleons. So, yeah. She's going to have to do some stuff. So, unfortunately, she doesn't have anything she needs at the moment to even move on and move forward with what she needs to do. So, she has to get at least one chair, you know? And then she can give herself, like, a little thing. Give her a shovel. She's gonna need one. <laughs> She's gonna need one. <laughs> Alright, so Campbell was my last household. Um, the next household would be Decker. And we can start it real quick, but we won't finish their, the round for her. And I don't think that... I don't have anything set in stone for her. So I don't have anything that this household is going to be so we'll have to try and like either get a feeling from like who she is or we could pull from like her traits or something yeah personality is going to be a big thing for us probably on her um she is a fortune sim so she's going to want to make the monies and <laughs> i love her little arch back there um so this is her house. It's very small compared to what everyone else has going for them. So that's fine. No big deal. Um, she has 216 simoleons. And her traits are hot-headed, good, loner, 
bot fan and rebellious. She could make servo sims from the bot fan. That kind of makes sense to me. Like she would use the robot crafting station and make this. Isn't that how you make servo sims? I would assume. So we could probably do that. And the servo sim thingy is in. Well, the robot crafting station is in here. And it's 2000. So you say you want to build a robot. Well, good for you. Fortunately, none of the robots you can make here are the oh no the robot has gone crazy please help my doom is a, is assured type in fact all the robots you can make with the non-deadly station are guaranteed to be helpful around the house or business cavette style warning robots can go crazy non-doom assured lifestyle not assured in any way what also is her aspiration that's another thing too she wants to have 100,000 simoleon mansion um, a perfect garden and all hired help and luxury items. So it says your dream is to live like a king or queen. Make sure your re residential lot reaches the indi indicated cost, which is 100,000 simoleons. She has to hire a maid, a gardener, and a butler if one is available. And own at least four out of seven categories of status items, such as a swimming pool, hot tub, fountain, car, Grandfather clock, elevator, expensive sculpture that's worth a thousand simoleons. Finally, invite garden club members to evaluate your landscaping. And once you get the perfect score, your dream will be fulfilled. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> so she just really wants to make a lot of money. Um. Since she does want to make some money, we could have her dig because I don't have any way for her to do for anything else. It is a custom lifetime wish, yeah. So she's going to be uh, a busy, busy woman. Hopefully she can do it. Hopefully she can do it. <sighs> I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. The only person who can have like a proper job is the mayor in politics, right? So we can't even have them get jobs to help them out. It's like, this is like a double-edged sword. I always feel like I can't get the money, but they need money at the same time. Okay, let's look at her relationships with people. So she has one bolt with Ryan and one with Philip. Oh, boy. Um, and then she has... She's friends with Ashanti. And with Kathleen. And that's about it. <laughs> oh, we got a bone. All right, I will let her dig for treasure, I think, three times a day, and then we'll just go from there. I don't want her to get, like, rich off of this, you know, but at the same time, we need to make some kind of money. And the architect? Okay, dig one more time. We found a second bone. Perfect. Fantastic. Oh, well, here's Bruce. We could maybe greet greet Bruce. Maybe he will stick around and we can greet him. Meet somebody new. Oh, no. Oh. No, greet him. Really? Okay. Fill it in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, you're right. It does. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. We only found two bones. So, like, honestly, what are they even worth? Like, a penny? 55 simoleons. There we go. <laughs> Getting rich. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that's our three for the day. Because she did want to make some monies. Uh, when you're done, I guess wash your hands and then we can have some breakfast. We'll have some cereal. What does she want to get? One in? Oh, creativity. 
Hmm. How could we have her do creativity? Painting, obviously, but we don't have that. Which helps them at this time. They don't have many options of fun at this stage of the game. Yeah, true. Especially like your single households. Because your, your couples can go woohoo and that gives them a lot of fun too. Okay. So Teresa here. She should probably go... Hmm. Maybe go down. <gasps> How do we already have weeds? Seriously? Okay, we're gonna pull our weeds then. <sighs> she does have the thingy, right? Okay. And it is installed. Perfect. Because of the water. Oh, I didn't know that. That's good. Good point. Alright, go ahead and wash your hands and clean it. Clean the toilet. And then I'm thinking maybe we head downtown head down to like the community lot. It's the only place we have to go. You know, I did see a version of these build city challenge rules where you can't even have like a community lot to start. How the heck do you get them to meet anybody? Do you just have to like catch everyone as they walk by? Like, what the heck? That seems so difficult. I could not. Huh? I would feel like I would have no, where, nothing to do with them. I would get so bored. Like, at least with a community lot, I can at least go to the community lot and mingle with people. Meet people. But if I didn't have that, like, how else am I going to get my sims to mingle? I guess I wouldn't. That's weird. Non-minglers. We would never build our city. Uh... <laughs> Let's see if Teresa can keep up the um, excitement of this town. Because already the first household got had a wedding and a baby on the way. Second household had some woohoo and ended up in a pregnancy. And now we've got Teresa. So let's see if she can like keep it flowing, you know. She does want to play some chess. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, she wants to get creativity level one still. Hmm. Well, we can't do that from here, unfortunately. Over twee rab uh slum rabbinant. Hmm. What is that sound? Why do I hear like water or something? It's like right here. But I don't hear it, I don't see anything. Weird. Must be from the pond, I guess. You could greet Bradley. Because I don't know who Christy is, so. I'd rather you talk to someone else. There's Chastity. Oh, here's Shane. Jace and Vin. <laughs> Well, she's either gay or bi, so that's good to know. We'll greet Bradley after. We can greet Trent. And Shane. Okay. Hopefully we're finding someone we're attracted to. So far, it's just Ryan, who is married, and Philip, who is a thief. Going well. Going well. Nope, no attraction there. All right, greet Shane. 
<laughs> and she's not in the girls, it looks like, so... Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Nothing with Shane, it looks like. Hmm. Man, it's hard to find, like, couples sometimes when people either just, like, physically aren't attracted to someone or they're attracted to people who are already taken. I mean, I guess I really don't like one bolt. So like, I feel like that's like a slight attraction. It's not very much. I would rather a two or a three if I could, but so far, hmm. nobody we will keep looking. We'll keep looking. Hmm. <clears throat> I know she wants yeah. to go on a date and stuff, but I mean, we could ask Philip on a date. You know, maybe they'll end up being more attracted to each other in the long run, once, like once they get to know each other. So we could ask him on a date. That would be fine. Um, hopefully, if we're on a date with him, he won't try and steal from us constantly. Because that's unfortunate. So we could ask the thief out on a date. We wanted to. Okay, is this lady seriously, like, arguing with us? We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Alright, let's go see if we can ask Philip out on a date, I guess. Because I don't really want to do that. I don't want to be standing here getting screamed at at the park. That's, that's not cool. So we'll go home and see if we can invite Philip out on a date with us and see if he'll go. I don't know if he'll go. Their, their friendship isn't that high. Wait, 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 wait. You're flirting hearts at Jace. Hold up, hold up, hold up. If that is the case, maybe we could just do him instead. Let's just see. Greet Jace. Greet him. Marrying Philip may be one way of building her fortune. True story. It, that is true. Because him stealing everybody's money might be the perfect deck, deck. perfect example. Though she has two bowls of Jace. Ah! She does want to ask us him on a date and slow dance with someone. So, I don't know. Let's just try while we're here. Maybe we could try. Here I go. We can entertain. Ask what do you want. I swear I just saw someone over here like making out. I don't know. I thought I did. That's interesting. Only one of our sims are over there is Bradley. He wants to earn some money. He must be a fortune sim as well. Um, maybe ask him what do you fear? What does it say? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Says, oh, hey, Teresa, you seem like a pretty insightful person. I'm developing a new product, and I'd be interested to hear your feedback on it. He's a free sample for you to mess around with. And his fear is also the repo man. So what did he give us a free sample of? <gasps> she just got the TV, but they're not even supposed to have electricity, like, to have a TV. So... We'll have to wait until the electricity turns on and then we'll have a brand new TV that we can watch. Ah, oh, that'll be so great. All right, let's see. Ask, what's your sign? Did I click what's your sign? Okay. Okay, maybe we could ask him on a date and see how it goes. All right. Okay. Now she wants to slow dance with the sim. Hold on, it's refreshing. Okay, so he's also a fortune sim, so this could work out. He wants to play with her, so we can play, like, Tickle, maybe. <laughs> she wants to talk to him, so they could gossip. He also wants to talk to her. That's good. Have her sell TVs to the townies. We gotta... We gotta Oh, have her sell the TV to the ta to a townie? Is that what you're saying? So we could, like, get money from it? Ooh, we could. Tell a joke. Um, entertain with a joke. 
You want to have a pillow fight and you want to dance. He wants to buy a love potion while talking to her. Dance with Teresa. Have a pillow fight with Teresa. Um, dance classic? Okay, these two are definitely hitting it off. Tell a dirty joke, have a pillow fight, and slow dance. We'll tell a dirty joke. Um, entertain. Oh, we can't tell a dirty joke yet. Get them married so it builds up their funds. I know, right? Let's we'll see. Slow dance more. Slow dance. <laughs> they both want to earn so much money already. Like they just, their thoughts are all about the money. It's funny. You want to tickle him? Okay, go ahead and stop. Teresa has a very interesting nose, and so does Jace. So, their kids, if they had kids, oh boy. Tickle. I can only imagine what it would look like. Have a pillow fight and tell a dirty joke. You still can't tell a joke to him. And play. I feel like pillow fight is something we have to do as like a higher level. What is she doing? She's walking weird. Be poked. Get out of here. Busy. She wants to tell him a dirty joke. So maybe give him a back rub. This lady, seriously. I have to delete her. <laughs> Give back rub. Be charmed. Get out of my face. Go away. Alright. Appreciate. Back rub. Just get away from her. Maybe she'll go away. Oh boy. You can do a suggestion. <laughs> Trying to get to the point where they can, she can do a um, dirty joke. But so far, haven't gotten there. Um, maybe kiss his hand. See if he'll go for it. And admire him. Get some. Flirts. You can sweet talk. <laughs> and give him a peck. <laughs> Entertain with another joke. <laughs> Happy first kiss. It's <laughs> getting real. We still can't do a dirty joke. So Maybe the thing. <laughs> but we can do a first kiss. Priceless. <laughs> Ooh, he's going for it. Oh, look at her. She's so smitten. Look at the different noses. <laughs> I love it. Um, he's just staring at them like. <sighs> You could give us a little bit of space over there, buddy. <laughs> He's just staring as they're having their first kiss. Look at him. I wish I was having my first kiss. It's probably what Trent's thinking. <laughs> okay. Um. Still can't do a dirty joke. So sweet talk again. I don't think they can have a pillow fight. No. And so what about hug? Do a romantic hug, maybe? He wants to have a pillow fight, but we can't do it. Tell him a joke. I don't know what's going on. Kiss him up his arm. 
You're going to have a plastic surgeon set up on an office here and to perform nose jobs. I know, look at that. It's so ridiculous. We just might need that one day. Right now, we just don't have the ability to do so. Through tender. Oh my gosh, are you joking? We still can't do this uh, dirty joke with him? Why? Oh my goodness. Okay, hold hands. Reset. Leap into his arms. Oh wait, we can do it. We can do it. I'm running out of time, so I'm trying to like bump the time up a bit if I can. I don't think he likes it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Teresa, it looks like you're gaining some fame now. More and more people are starting to see that you're a good sim. Some good things may be coming your way. Are you sure? Because the person that we're on a date with just literally walked away from us. So, who knows? All right, um, let's give him a back rub and see if it can smooth some things out. Here we go. And now she wants to flirt with him. Flirt. Hold hands. He might have no sense of humor, so we might have to uh, be careful on that. She wants to make out with him and kiss him. So let's see. Kiss. Suck face. He only wants to have a pillow fight. She wants to have a dream date with him now. Kiss. Up arm. Um, do a romantic kiss. She also wants to hug him. So we could do a hug with him. We'll leap into his arms. We have less than two minutes to get a dream date. So this is going to be interesting. Slow dance. Smooch. Um, charm him. And then smooch him again. Kiss tender. Hold hands. Make out. He only has one wish for her, and she is like, she has wishes for him, but not like, not like fantastic ones. All right, then we can slow dance, and then we'll end the date. Hug him, give him a back rub. Oh, it's a dream mm. date. Perfect. Travel. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and end the date. Mm. Oh, crap. Now she wants to entertain him. Let's see if he likes this dirty joke. There we go. He liked that one. At least he liked one of them. Oh, she just wants to be best friends forever with him. That's sweet. All right, let's get her to the bathroom. What is she doing? Oh, kissing him. Okay. I just want to make sure she's not, like, going to woohoo or something crazy. All right, go ahead and... Use the bathroom. <laughs> Cute. Killian's here. Does she know Killian? 
Because Killian's our sim as well. Um, she doesn't. She should definitely greet Killian. So the reason she washed her hands after going to the bathroom for me is because she's very neat and I have a mod like that changes the way that the sims um, are after they go to the bathroom. If they're really, really neat, they will pretty much always wash their hands. If they're like in between-ish, um, they'll sometimes wash their hands and then if they're more sloppy, then they'll like never wash their hands after going to the bathroom. So because she's so neat, she washed her hands, which is kind of cool. Did anyone make any food or no? It doesn't look like it, does it? Does she know Maxwell? She should, right? Like. What? I don't want to greet you. I want to greet Maxwell. And Winter, maybe? Oh, well, we know Winter. That's for sure. So I'm not as worried about winter then, but I do want her to know to know Maxwell. Because how else are we gonna pay our taxes, you know? All right, let's um. Walk to lot. No, I don't want to go to a community lot. I didn't mean community lot. I want to go home. Does she have any bolts with um Maxwell? No. Oh, there's another one of our sims that just showed up. <laughs> but we're leaving. We're like, deuces. And she's like, just showing up. Okay. So she is kind of hungry. And it looks like the welcome wagon showed up while we were gone, but that's okay. We don't need the welcome wagon right now. We'll be okay without. That's for sure. Alright, so we're just waiting for her to get home. Which is gonna be a little while. And when she does get home, I'm probably gonna send her to bed, and that'll be where I end the stream. Oh! No, we gotta get in touch with Teresa because we're losing our friendship with her. So we want to make sure we're getting that friendship back up. So her last name right now is Decker. Teresa Decker. If she were to marry Jace eventually, her name would be Teresa Mac Makrovich. And that's not too bad. So I'm okay with that. Phone is ringing. She might actually need to eat something before she goes to bed. So maybe we could have her eat something quick. Like a sandwich or something. Okay, go ahead and have a sub sandwich for dinner real quick, and then we'll get you to bed. I will be posting this up on my YouTube channel. Um, it's the reason that no video went live today for me. Because um, this is going to be the, the episode that's going to go live up on YouTube. So if you missed anything and you want to check it out, feel free to jump over to my YouTube channel and follow me there so you can see everything that's happened so far. But yeah, I am going to... Oh, we'll let him deliver his roses for us. Okay, he delivered some roses. That was very nice. 
Um, I am going to go ahead and uh, leave the episode here. I think we got through a lot. So we went and played the Hartman family. They got married. They're expecting their first baby. Um, then we played the Campbell household. And she went on a date and ended up expecting after the date. Because um, she woohooed a couple of times. And then also we just played Teresa. Who has went on her first date with Jace Makrovich. And uh, we'll have to wait and see if anything forms of that. For right now, it's just, um, it's, um, just like a fling at the moment. Um, I seen the Decades Challenge yesterday, sad about the babies. I know, I was so devastated in that episode. I was so sad. I could not believe that happened. I was really, really upset about it. But it is what it is. There's nothing I can do. I can't play favoritism you know because then i would favoritism everybody and it, nobody would ever have any bad roles so i have to just play it as is but anyways thank you to everyone for joining in today i really appreciate it and thank you for all the new follows um i really appreciate that as well um like i said if you guys want to catch this back on a replay it'll be up on my youtube channel as well so you can definitely check it out there and all of my other videos from this are up there as well in a playlist. So you can definitely check those out. And I will talk to you guys in my stream on Friday. Have a great night.